All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you a really cool, fun, and easy trick to animate growing rust. It's really cool. It's really fun. Now, I showed you a very, very similar technique before for the motion graphics, but I slightly changed it up and did some different things to this so that it, you can do growing rust. So just a different way of using that procedure. I'm going to show you guys how to do that here. So let's get into it. All right, so we have our model, and this works on really any model you want. I'm just going to be using this horse model. I'm going to go up here and click New, and right right away I'm gonna take this take this get a mix shader right here click it there and I'm just gonna get and I'm just gonna take this and duplicate that and plug it into that shader now I'm gonna make this one right down here the rust so I'm gonna make it sort of a red orange and bring the roughness up pretty high make it metallic and also make this one metallic so now we have them mixing looks kinda of like a rose gold it's really nice but let's do the procedure so first we need a color ramp. Bring that right here, put the color in right to the factor, and let's get a Voronoi texture. Just like that, put the Voronoi right here into the color ramp. And it's already starting to work. Let's get a, another, another color ramp, just like that. Plug that color ramp into the vector. And our last one, which is gonna make it very, the rust look and not the Voronoi look, is a noise texture. Take this noise texture, plug it right there. And last two nodes, we're just to make make sure everything's even. We're gonna get a color, we're gonna get a mapping node here. Get a mapping node, just like that. Plug the vector here to the vector and a texture coordinate. Alright, and put the texture coordinate at object. So now we have our little string of nodes and our noise. So what are we going to do? First off, let's take our detail and bring it all the way up. Let's make sure that right now it's just super flat. We don't see it sort of eating into our metal. So we need to add a bump node on both. So we're going to add a bump node right here in the middle. And we're going to plug this color ramp into the bump. And plug that normal. And plug this one also as well into the normal. Just like that. All right, so if we look at the bump, it looks like it's sort of shooting out. We want it to actually eat in. So we'll just take the bump node and invert it. Now it's eating into it. And let's take our scale here and bring it up pretty far. So now let's take the scale of the Voronoi, and you just play around with it however you want your rust to look, just like that. And you can take this and play with it as well until you get a nice flat look kind of like kind of like that it's kind of what I'm gonna go for so just in this ballpark it's what I'm going for and we'll take the bump and sort of flatten it just a little bit alright so now we have this crazy rust it's not very realistic looking rust you would have to go ahead and go ahead and fine-tune the color but you get the idea so let's go up here and animate it real quick so all you would have to do is take this color ramp the black and the white and just move these sliders just like that. So you can see it. I'm gonna hold down shift to make it smoother. So you would just take the slider, you would right click, insert a keyframe, and then slide it just like that, and it animates out. So you would just start here, and just animate it just like that to however big you want it to grow, and you have your nice growing rust on your metal object, and it looks really awesome, and you can play around with it, and be super, creative and have some fun with it. Again, this is almost just like the motion graphics one, but I wanted to tweak it and show you guys another creative way to use this that many of you may not have thought of. So there you go. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.